It's Outdoors and Danny here again today. And for today's video, I'm gonna go fishing at a nearby stream where I live at. And I'm gonna try to catch bluegill, maybe some bass. Hopefully, I can get plenty of fish. I'm not gonna be out here for too long. So, catch you later. I made it down to the creek. Well, the stream, we gotta go over this hill, go down through the woods. Make sure you don't slip on the ice. It's not that easy, but you gotta walk through here. You gotta watch out for the people that try to rob you. Why not? Right here. Yeah, this looks nice. Look at this, guys. Hopefully, I can catch something for you guys on the video. See this? Here, it's creek. Can't wait to throw it in. Oh, by the way, I went out to test this uh, Rebel Craw. It's called the Rebel Craw. We'll see if it works or not. And if it doesn't work, I might switch to the drop shot, and I'll show you that rig in a little bit. I've been fishing for about an hour now, and I'm not catching anything. I'm using right now. I'm using the drop shot, drop shot rig. I'm not catching nothing yet, but I'm gonna go on for a couple more minutes. And if I don't catch something, I'm just gonna head home. Maybe come, come next week or something. I've been trying to fish this uh, structure down here. And I just got snagged. That tree right there. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to fish that structure over there. I keep getting snagged a lot. I'm gonna try to move on to talk to the right here and see that area over there. See if I can catch something on I'm gonna throw it right now. Hopefully, I don't find a lot. Oh, right now, at this point, I I kept going down the river, and I found out. I well, I started seeing that I wasn't catching anything, and I was. I kept using the jaw shot. I was still. I was still wanted to fish a little bit longer, but. I had to go because me and my brother, we borrowed my mom's car and she needed it too. And right now I try to I try to go a little bit farther down the stream, but my brother didn't let me, so I had to, we had to go back. So we left at this point. All right, so I made it back home, and now I just wanted to make a quick review of the stuff I was using when I was out there in the stream. So I'm about to show you what I was using right now. It's an Inferno. And it's a, uh, let me see. This is a pretty, I remember it was like $30. And it's a six foot six inch rod. It's This rod is not that long, but it's good to have like in your car. If you travel a lot, it's a good rod to have with you. And for reel, I'm using a bait caster reel. It's a a Boo Garcia reel, and I was using the drop shot rig. I'm about to show you it right now. So this is what the drop shot looks like right here. Has a weight in the bottom, and then it has a a hook and about 12 inches up. And you put a you could. You could put whatever on the hook, like you could put a worm, plastic worm, a plastic fish. You could really put whatever, a craw. Really does not matter, but you'll catch fish. This is this fit. This rig is most best used is to find the fish. Once you find the fish, and you can start using other stuff to get to find to get the fish. So this is a fish finder rig that I like to use. And all you do is get a, a drop shot, a drop shot weight, which has, uh, you could get a egg weight like this, and it has like a swivel inside of it, and you tie the line, the you put the hook inside, 
and you tie the hook 12, 12 inches up then you add the the egg weight and then you tie it up and then you just gotta flick your rod up every now and then and make the the fish the plastic worm or whatever you use and move around and this is very effective also the first thing I started using was this rebel craw right here I'm about to take it out so I can show you it is a rebel craw I, I wasn't getting any bites or anything so I switched over like 10 minutes later 15 oh one more thing that I also used this has a leaf stuck to it I was using it and this is um I think this is a trout lure I'm not sure please comment in the bottom tell me what a what species it's for I think it's for trout but I was using it and nothing so switch over to the drop shot and this box I got it from Walmart this is a cheap box and you can really go this is good enough to go out to a creek or a stream and to fish this is this is this box is good enough. You don't need to go out buy like I said in previous video videos. You don't need expensive stuff to catch fish, or you don't need to buy expensive stuff to do what you want to do. So yeah, that's what I use this rod. So that's it. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And next video might be a catch and cook video. A lot of people wanted a fishing video, so I told my brother to take me, and he took me. And tomorrow might be a, a squirrel catching cook video again. So stay tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.